All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upload a video to your YouTube channel. So uh, first you're gonna to go to youtube.com, of course, and you are going to uh, log into your YouTube account. Uh, the login should be your Gmail uh, email and also the password that you sign in for your Gmail. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this little icon up here where it says create a video or post. It's a video icon with a plus, so right up here and you're going to click on it and you can upload a video or you can go live if you have a webcam you can actually just go live and uh, upload it to your youtube channel i have a pre-made video so i'm going to go to upload video next it's going to bring up this next screen and um, you will want to leave this one public and then click on this little area and that's going to bring up your window and I put mine under my demo folder on my desktop. Nope, actually I did it from, give me one second. There we go. All right, so once you locate your video file, um, I like to, uh, I like to go ahead and do the description. You never want to leave the video title like video. Um, you want to basically uh, uh, put the description of what the video is about on it. And I like to end it with video. So I'm going to double click on it. And now you'll see the upload status. It'll give you your URL after the video is finished uploading. It shows you um, how fast it's uploading and the estimated time remaining. And right here, what you want to do is you want to put a description of what your video is about. So I'm going to go ahead and paste. And this one's just how to add live chat to your dynamic site. And then next, under description, you want to include what the video, a little bit more about what the video is about. So again, I'm going to copy over here. All right. And then also you can uh, add your links to your social media here. Um, you can uh, add a link to, like if you're doing a property or something, if you're um, you know, doing a video tour of, your, uh, of a listing that you have, you can uh, include any links maybe to your website or anything like that. So for this particular one, I am just including where they could download this app for iPhone and Android. And then my last one is going to be YouTube channel. And you want to make sure that you have the HTTPS in there. So like what I did is I went to uh, the Tidio uh, on App Store. So I just basically Googled uh, Tidio chat on uh, App Store. And then on this one for Android, uh, Tidio app, uh, chat app for uh, Android or the Play Store. Like, or Google Play is what it's called. So then you want to make sure you just copy the URL up here and it's going to copy the HTTPS. That way it's a clickable link. All right, once you do that, um, I'm going to pause this and take some of these uh, tags out. All right, now that I got those out, it kind of shows you some examples. So um, I'm going to put System Dynamics in there and then hit the Tab button and I'll create the tag, Dynamics Sites. And then I'm going to put chat for WordPress. And this just helps uh, um, this just helps with people whenever they type in certain keywords to be able to find whatever you're doing. So if you have a house, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you have a house uh, video tour that you're doing, uh, you might want to put in the address uh, 123 Anywhere Street, uh, you know, Lakeland, Florida 33813. You might want to put the um, uh, the school zone, uh, like if there's a high school, the real popular high school that's nearby, like my, ours would be George Jenkins High School. Um, you may want to put in uh, swimming pool, uh, fenced in yard, that type of thing that would help um, the search engines locate houses. Because they may put, uh, you know, when someone's searching for maybe a house or something, they may put... Uh, uh, home for sale South Lakeland near George Jenkins High School with swimming pool 
So those would be the keywords that you would want to have in there. So you could actually add that to your description too. So the tags also help with that type of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this while I put in my rest of my tags. All right, now that I got my tags, my description, and my title in here, um, looks like the processing is done. It says click publish to make your video live. All right, so we're going to go down to here. I want to make sure that it's on public and I'm gonna to add to a playlist. So if I click on add to playlist, this just helps organize them. So maybe you have um, uh, sold homes, maybe you have uh, uh, mortgage education, that type of thing, and it helps categorize your video. So on this one, it will be dynamic sites. And you could also add it to multiple different playlists. So, and then here's where you could create a new playlist. So you just want to organize your um, content. For instance, if I go to Tidio's their um, their YouTube channel, you'll notice they got a home, and then they got their videos, and then playlist. And then right here, you can view the whole playlist about chat bots or getting started with uh, uh, Tidio live chat. And so they're basically breaking up into different playlists. All right, and then down here, um, they have three different thumbnails that you can choose. So you can choose the best one. So I'm going to choose this one right here. And you can also create a custom thumbnail if you like, if you have a photo. And the maximum file size is two megabytes. So, and then after I'm done, all I do is I'm going to click on publish. It says your changes are being saved. And now you have your link for your video.